We are very excited to share a local business with a fabulous, wonderful product to sell. Joining us back again is Susan Hudson from Simplicity Floral. Thanks and for I being am with us. Grateful to be back. <laughs> well, it's always a joy to talk flowers and be with you. And we always like to get behind the scenes information about businesses. And so one of the things I think is most interesting is how you got started. You weren't always in the flower business. No, I wasn't. I was actually in the real estate business. Uh, now, how does a real estate woman become a florist, a master florist at that? Well, she jumps off in debt and then, <laughs> <laughs> then she has to survive and pay her bills. So she becomes, she has to learn how to do, become a master florist. So the idea did not come out of nowhere. It was actually a real estate transaction you were in the middle of. Actually, it was. Um, I had some clients call me asking me if I would list their business for sale. And I went and I talked to them and I thought, gee, I'd like to do this. So I decided that I would buy the business and um, I went to the bank and I got a loan and I had two kids in college and one in high school. Did they think and you were I crazy? Oh yeah, everybody thought I was crazy. Even today, okay, and this has been 20 years, I have realtors that I still talk to that buy flowers for me and attorneys and they go you really need to be in the into the real estate business but we're glad you're in the flower business <laughs> so you must have been good yes well how has has the flower business been as good to you as the real estate business yes i would say it has it has helped um real estate was really good um i was raised in the real estate business and uh, my mother was a realtor but I wanted to do something else, and I really liked the flower business. I liked hands-on and flowers. Um, and so I, I can't say one was better than the other. They were both good to me. So. Well, it's really interesting, though. One of the things that we like to do is inspire on this show, and I think it's really inspirational to know that you may not have had a fat savings or somebody to hand you that store, and you didn't even have experience in it but you found the courage, despite the fact that some people thought you were crazy, to get into the business. That in itself is really admirable. How did you find the courage to do that? I just, you know, I didn't, knew that I had to work. My husband had had an accident and was paralyzed. And I had three children and I had to, I had to make money um, back then in, like men made money and I didn't want to wait tables and I didn't want to work on a, um, a food line and I didn't want to work in an assembly um, line. So I went into real estate, which I did know, and um, I sold real estate and I worked with a lot of builders with uh, learning construction, new construction, and what people wanted. So then when I bought the flower business, I had to learn the flower business. I remember Jack saying, we had right our first Valentine's, we had like 6,000 roses, 4,000 carnations, 2,000 daisies, and so on. And he said, can we eat these? And I said, I don't know, we'll have to look it up. And, um, but Meaning God, if you didn't sell them, you If were we gonna... didn't sell, we were gonna have to eat them for sure. Uh, and that was pretty scary. Or, you know, go bankrupt. And that was even scarier. Yeah. So you you do what you have to do. I had great designers. Um, I had great people working for me, and I watched them, and I taught myself. And then I remember several designers telling me, oh, you can't do it that way. And I go, well, why not? And they go, well, because it's not done that way. And I go, well, why? And they said they could not give me a reason. But this is one story that I will tell you. I had, We did several churches, church arrangements. And um, one church we did every week. My lead designer would do all the church arrangements on Friday and we'd deliver them on Saturday. This one weekend, she got sick and I had to design this particular church. On Monday, the very prominent woman of the church, and I knew her very well too, called me and she said, Susan, the arrangements at church Sunday looked awful. I have never got flowers from your shop that look that bad. And I said, well, Miss Shelby, I'm really sorry, but we had a rookie this weekend. 
I never to this day have said the rookie was me. <laughs> <laughs> and did she forgive you? Oh, she forgave me. <laughs> But everybody has to start somewhere. And again, that's where we like to come from, the inspiration. It's amazing. And you're on your second shop. Simplicity Floral is a second. It, what's new and fresh about this one? I wanted to have a shop that offered things that you couldn't find in South Carolina. I wanted a, a shop that people could come into and, and, and it was friendly. But I also wanted a shop that carried the high-end things like Charlotte and Charleston and different ribbons and things that people, so many people go out of town to get. Different flowers that so many people go out of town to get. Um, but I also wanted to shop that it doesn't matter if you wanted to come in and buy something for $5 or $2, you got the same quality and the same experience, the same service as if you were spending $5,000. I, you know, I wanted a shop that was open and airy and anybody, any walk of life, whether you're, you know, dig ditches or whether you're a senator or congressman or whatever, or a lawyer or a school teacher could come in and find something in our shop. Well, you are in a lovely neighborhood and we should let people know if they've never been to your shop that it's just off of Clemson Road at Sparkleberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, we have more and more people find us every day. Well, I'm glad that we've connected and it's a joy to share your story. And the best part is Susan is going to be back with us later in the show. We're going to be talking a little bit of spring fun, right? We are. We're going to be talking about spring reefs and we're going to be talking about prom. One. Well, thank you, Susan. And we'll look forward to a little bit more fun with you because spring has sprung and Susan has wreaths and a little bit of prom fun that you may never have seen here in Columbia. Stay with us.